Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you a way to write down the full solution of the integration by parts by applying the DI method and the ILH rule together. There are three steps in the process. The step one is choosing the correct differentiation and integration terms. There are five kinds of functions I list below, namely the inverse trig trigonometric function, logarithmic function, algebraic function, trigonometric function, and the exponential function. The order they are arranged is according to the table. The more left-hand side function will be chosen as the differentiation part, and the more right-hand side function will be chosen as the integration part. I'm going to choose to integrate the x cubed times sine 2x so that I can demonstrate this method. The integral consists of two functions. The first one is the x cubed function, which is algebraic function. So I write it down under the algebraic column. The second one is the trigonometric function sine 2x. So I write it down in the trig column. As the term x cubed is nearer to the left hand side, so it will be chosen to be the differentiation part. And the sine 2x is nearer to the right hand side, so it will be chosen for the integration part. The second step is to visualize integration by parts process in table form. The formula of the integration by parts is given here. Notice that I use a red rectangular box to include four terms. The right hand side of the e equation is formed by two parts. The first part is multiplying the two blue terms with the blue arrow, which is the UV term. The second part is to integrate the two terms connected by the green arrow, namely the du over dx and the V term. Step 3 is to set up the DI table. On the left hand side, which is the differentiation part, we continue to differentiate x cubed. Until it becomes 0. On the right hand side, we continue to integrate the sine 2x. Until the fourth column, because there are no more terms in the differentiation part. So now we can work out the integration by parts process. On the first line, I will transform the question into two new terms. The first one is the blue arrow terms, which is x cubed times negative half cosine 2x minus the integral of the green arrow terms, which is 3x squared times negative half cosine 2x dx. I will simplify this term a bit. And I will leave this minus sign here. Now, there's no need to simplify the integral. Just replace it with a bracket on the next line. And now, we will do the integration by parts for the second time. I will move the red box one level down. So now, I will transform the integral into two new terms. The first one is the blue arrow terms, which is 3x squared uh, times negative 1 over 4 sine 2x minus the integral of the green arrow terms which is 
six x times negative one over four sine two x dx. So now I copy this this term, and then I will remove the bracket. This one and this one, and notice that there is a minus sign here. So now the second term will be positive. Three x square over four times sine two x, and the last term is also positive. I will just copy the integral on the previous line like this. There's no need to simplify. So now I will copy the first two term on the next line. So now I will transform this integral into a bracket and move the red box one level down. The new term is the blue arrow terms, which is. 6x times 1 over x cosine 2x minus the integral of 6 times 1 over x cosine 2x dx. So now we still copy the terms before and simplify and remove the bracket. So the third term is the three x over four cosine two x minus. So now this integral is very easy. We take the constant out, which is three over four integral cos two x. So I'll do this immediately, which is. Half sine two x, and then remember to plus c at the end. So now we can finish the whole line. And this is the final answer.